Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today, guess what? It's a full process video, finally. So I'll be doing the costume and hair and face up for this super fun commission that I did of a pro wrestler, Alexa Bliss. So my boyfriend in particular was super excited for me to work on this because he's a wrestling fan. And I had a lot of fun creating her. And I'm super happy with how she turned out. She just was a lot of fun for me. So I'm making her some super short shorts for uh, the bottoms and I'm using some faux leather or vinyl in black and I first stitch up the crotch area so I can make sure that the fit is right and then I stitch up the sides. Then I flip it inside out and I try them on. So I wanted them to be a little bit more, showing just a little bit more of her like booty area. So I trimmed up a little bit in the back. And now on to the embellishments. So I have this craft, uh, it's kind of like a, a fabric with glitter on top, but the glitter luckily doesn't come off. Uh, well, not very much anyway. So I'm using some Fabri-Tac and I'm tacking it to the sides before I do some stitching. And just trimming it up for the perfect fit. And then I'm using this jewelry line and heating up the end so it doesn't unravel. And I'm using that as a trim. So I didn't have the exact match of a trim that I wanted for this look so I used a close second which was a light pink and then I stitched up around it with this darker pink thread and then I went back with some alcohol ink and dyed it to match so it made it a little bit more brighter pink like the like Alexa Bliss's costume then I took the same thread and did sort of a corset stitch up the sides The, these little pairs of shorts took so long to make. <laughs> it's just all of the embellishments, but I just had a lot of fun doing that. Oh, and a little disclaimer, I did also add a little uh, jacket, and I used the same concept of how I did the shorts, but I don't believe that I filmed that part. It was Sometimes it's just so tedious that I can't film every little thing. Um, because it's just kind of frustrating to have the camera in the way while I'm working, so I apologize for that. But like I said, I used the same concept with, I cut it out of the vinyl and then added the trim. On the jacket, I used the same kind of fabric with glitter on it but the one this I got it at like Michaels or some other craft store and it they have a section kind of near where the felt is and they have a bunch of different kinds of specialty fabrics just little sheets of fabric and that's what I used and the one that I used on the jacket was like a pink glitter with a black lace over top so cute I was so glad to finally use it So here I'm trying to do the trim around the top with some ribbon and I had to make it point in, down in the middle so I did some stitching to kind of miter it. And then I'm using the Fabri-Tac again to tack it around and then I'll stitch just in certain areas just to make sure it stays on. So after this I'll show you the face up and then near the end there will be the hairstyle and then some photos of the final look at the end. Okay so this was my first try on embellishing the shorts. I, she has these 
uh, silver metal pieces that go around her belt sort of or the trim of her shorts and I loved how that looked but they ended up falling off so I had to use individual pieces of a, of a large glitter that I had so yeah I used like tiny little pieces of glitter in the end and they worked much better on staying on the the balls it was like if you would play with the or put it put the shorts on or off once or twice you'd lose some of them and I didn't want that ha to happen to my client so I used the glitter instead so now I'm shaping the corset using my standard way of making the notches underneath the breast so you could make it more fitted and just making it super tiny and marking where I'll put the snaps So the doll that I'm using here is just one of my extra dolls that I use to just kind of do the fittings for costumes. It's not the actual doll that I'll be using. So adding the straps on there and just marking where I'll need to stitch them. Doing a fitting. I do lots of fittings throughout making them. Oh, I made her little gloves. She wears these sort of motorcycle gloves or fingerless gloves with skeleton hands on them. So I, the ones that in the picture that I was using as reference, she had pink ones. So I made some pink ones and painted skeleton hands. Using some fabric paint to do that so that it stays it doesn't chip off if I used acrylic paint regular acrylic it would probably chip so I use some of that fabric puff paint now making the piece for the front of the corset and adhering that with fabric tack before doing the stitching and then I embellished it the same as I did the shorts So onto the face up. I'm using, um, hmm, I think, I wanna say a Michelle Mermaid, but I'm not 100% positive that that's the character I used. If you guys can tell, let me know in the description box below. What I do is I, when I get new dolls, I'll take them out of the boxes and for storage reasons, as you may know from previous videos, we're traveling around in a, an RV so I needed to make as much storage um, as a store things efficiently as possible. So uh, I took all of the dolls that I had out of boxes and then I prep them. So I'll take their makeup off and some of, some of them I'll take the hair out. And by that time, the time it comes to use them, I don't know who they are. So I apologize, but I think she's a Michelle Mermaid. Mm, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm trying to give her the classic Alexa Bliss smirk. So I didn't want to make the one of the eyes squinty. She doesn't really squint her eye up. She does, but she does do a side smile. So that's what I'm working on there. And I'm using Pan Pastels and Derwent watercolor pencils with potentially some Faber-Castell and... Uh, Carandosh. So I'm using a couple of reference photos of her face to make sure I'm copying the characteristics, making some very gentle lines, not being too exaggerated, just kind of trying to be subtle with the, the highlights and, and lines in her face. If I went too dark with the lines, then she would, they would more look like, like age lines rather than character lines. So needed to be kind of soft with what I was doing but at the same time do my best to capture the look like I said I'm using some pan pastels and 
colorless blender to blend it all out. And the supplies that I use are in the description box below. If you click on those links, those are affiliate links. So if you purchase anything, not, it, it doesn't even have to be the product that you're clicking on or anything that's in my list. If you purchase anything after clicking in my li links, I will get some sort of uh, small benefit for that. So any help there is much appreciated. Your support is so appreciated. Thank you so much. So Alexa has some dark smoky eyeshadows, so sort of at a an angle here, so I'm kind of uh, trying to reflect the same eyeshadow that the character, that the act, what is she, an actor, um, <laughs> the uh, wrestler, um, trying to do the same eyeshadow as she has. doing a lot of highlights. I'm not sure if I captured it at the end of this or not, but um, after showing the final pictures to the client, they were happy with it, but they just wanted me to add a little bit more shimmer on the upper cheekbones. And after I did that, I was like, wow, I'm so glad she said that because that could, because in the pictures that I was looking at, she had um, some shimmer and I love to use shimmer. So I did add that. I don't know if I showed it in this video or not. giving her some blue eyes. I'm doing my usual blend of the blue outline and using some lighter blues as it goes in. And then I'm using some blue gray to darken it up and just add some dimension around the edges. Sorry for my pink hair in the picture there. <laughs> So using my Faber-Castell Aqua Grip to do the bottom lashes. And then I ended up giving her some fairly thick upper lashes to really make that smoky eye look pop. There's her highlights. And onto the hair. So I rooted her hair with some soft alpaca yarn and then I flat ironed it. Um, at first look I didn't really like the um, the side braids so I went back and redid that which I'll show here in a moment but here is her final look with her boots and her vest which I was super happy with and the straps that you didn't see me do on the corset so I apologize there but here's the hair so um, after I, I coated the ends with some pan pastel magenta and sprayed it with some um, sort of a hairspray that's supposed to seal it in and then here I'm doing the twists on the side. So I did the twists very tight and held them with some clips and just pulled it into a ponytail. And then I pulled out some of the ponytail to wrap around the rubber band to hide that. And there's her final look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.